Hi guys, so I'm here to do a product empties video for the month of August. Now I don't have a lot of makeup items for this month. I didn't really wear a lot of makeup. I tried to just kind of kind of go bare faced this month to kind of let my skin breathe a bit. But I do have one item and it's the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash and this is the deluxe size um, version of it. I got this from my Beauty Insider points a little while ago and um, I will say that this mascara is alright. I probably would not purchase the full size version of it which is $23 at Sephora. Um, but this mascara claims to volume, length, and curl, which is a lot for a mascara to claim to do. Um, I know that some people say that it goes on clumpy for them. I did notice that a little bit towards the end of the day. It kind of just, I would say that it kind of just felt really stiff and started to flake at the end of the day. Um, to me, I just, I don't think it's worth that much to buy um, a mascara for that much. For me, if I have to throw away a mascara in three months, I'm not going to pay $23 for it, unless it was gifted to me, but i rather just kind of stick to my drugstore mascaras. I don't use them as often because I do use false lashes, but I would rather just purchase a drugstore mascara knowing that I'm going to end up throwing it away in about three months. So for me, I probably would not repurchase this. Um, in the full size version, but this was just nice to try for the deluxe size. This is the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover, and I purchased this from Target. It was 5.5 fluid ounces, and I think I got it for around 4 or $5. Um, I really do like this because it didn't really leave me with an oily residue. I have the up and up version of this makeup remover, and that one is a bit more oilier. Even though it claims it's oil free, it still leaves that really oily film on my eyelids. So I really do like this. I probably will repurchase this in the future. It gets off all my makeup and I don't have to use like multiple cotton pads for it because I hate when I have to do that. Like I would rather just use one cotton pad and you know be able to wipe off all of my eye makeup and then be good to go. I don't really like having to just use three or four cotton pads. You really know that an eye makeup remover doesn't work if you're having to use that many cotton pads. I finished up the Up and Up Oil Free Acne Wash and this is supposed to be comparable to the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne wash um, for your face and it has salicylic acid in it. It's six fluid ounces and I got this around three dollars or so. Um, I really do like this. This is probably like my eighth or ninth bottle that I've used up. I mean I love using this with my Clarisonic. It's really great. It leaves my face feeling squeaky clean um, but not too dry and I like that it's oil free so it has that kind of gel consistency so this is really great if you have oily skin so I highly recommend this. I finally finished up my Biore nose strips. This was the pack of 14 of the deep cleansing nose strips and I really do like this. It helps to clean and unclog any pores around your nose area. I don't have a lot of blackheads in that area but I do have a lot of whiteheads and it was a good while before I started using this again and the first time I used it I remember looking at the strip and it was just like ew like it's so gross but it's one of those things where you can't stop staring at like is that just me um, because I love just like looking at it and like they look like little forest of like whiteheads it's really gross to look at but I mean when you pull that nose strip off you just kind of get this satisfaction of like yes you know like my nose is clean like it just feels clean and smooth and I finally started getting my boyfriend to use it Shh, don't tell him I told you guys that but the first time he used it he was like oh my god like he stared at it for a good like five minutes so we've been using this um, once a week we'll probably go back to maybe once every other week just because we noticed that when we use it once a week it doesn't pull out as many so this has been a really you would say like good bonding experience between my boyfriend and I um, we just like looking at it and just seeing like what we pull out from our nose it's kind of gross I know but this is just really good to have as well for you know maintenance to get those whiteheads removed from your nose. I've also finished up the Neutrogena Body Clear Body Wash and this has been my holy grail body wash for probably the last like I would say maybe 12 years. I started using this back in high school, maybe even middle school and um, Back then, my body was breaking out on my chest and my back. I know that sounds really gross. 
and I think it was because when I would wash my hair I would just kind of leave my wet hair dangling like around you know my back and my chest area and I think the soap kind of clogged up my pores in that area and it really just did a number on my back and my chest so when I started using this it took several years for it to clear up but when I started using this it really did help keep the oils away from both of those areas um, I really do love this this is a must for me in the summer months when it's just hot and my pores just want to get really clogged up and I recommend this if you have any kind of um, back knee or chest knee if you guys know what that is you understand the next two products are hair products and this is the L'Oreal Evercream sulfate free moisture system nourishing shampoo that was a mouthful um, this is 8.5 fluid ounces and the reason why I only got the shampoo is because I tend to use more shampoo than conditioner or I tend to use it faster because I have all these deep conditioners that I put in the mix so I run out of shampoo a lot faster um, so this is for normal to dry hair and this is supposed to be sulfate free so sulfate has that sulfate am I saying sulfate or sulfate sulfate has that key ingredient to kind of help lather um, build up that lather in your hair so when I did use this I didn't get that kind of lather I'm um, you know really cleaning my hair so I use this maybe about once a week um, I thought this was alright I didn't really notice a difference with my hair so I probably will not repurchase this now the next one is the Aussie Moist Conditioner and this is like the big boy size. This is 29.9, 29.2 fluid ounces and I really liked it because it has a pump to it and it claims that you can get up to 100 uses of it. I didn't really keep track so I wouldn't know about that but I really did like this. Um, the times that my boyfriend did use this he says he felt like it kind of dried out his hair. Um, I used this probably I think I've got like two bottles of this. I've gone through two bottles of it and um, I probably will not repurchase it just because I found other shampoos that worked a little bit better for me. I did really like it when I first used it but I want to try to mix up the shampoo conditioners that I use so that my hair doesn't just get used to it and start looking dull. I will probably repurchase this in the future after I try a couple of different shampoos and conditioners. Last but not least I have one non-beauty empties and it's the Bath & Body Works Market Peach Candle. And if you love just the smell of like peach pie and like anything peach related, this is like your scent for you. Unfortunately, since they have all their fall scents out right now, you will not be able to find this, but maybe next year because they always just repackage their candles and resell them. The description says, fresh from the stand peaches, strike a juicy note in a blend of vanilla featuring hints of citrus and raspberry. So this smells really good. It's a very strong scent. I used this probably for the month of June and July, so it did last me a while, um, but I really do like this. I'm excited to see what other Bath & Body Works scents they have for the fall, but I highly recommend this. I usually buy them when they have their 2 for 20 or their 2 for 22 now um, sales, so I would definitely check this out next spring and summer. So that's it for my August empties. I can finally now recycle these products and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!